Good day, viewers. You are welcome to this class. Here, let's look at the solution to this exponential equation. We are finding the value of x. So, therefore, let us change the number given here to have the same base. 4 can be expressed as base 2. Then we can write we can write this and say this is 2 raised to power 2. Then times s square. That's 2 s square divided by 2 raised to power x. Then equals to 8 can be expressed as 2 raised to power 3. And from here now, we can apply the law of indices. When we divide same base, when same base divide each other, then we subtract the index. And this can be written as 2 raised to power 2s squared minus x equals to 2 raised to power 3. And from there now, we can see that on the two sides, we have the same base. So we can equate the power. And therefore, we now have 2s squared minus x equals to 3. Here now, we can use this to form a quadratic equation. By bringing this 3 to this side. And plus 3 here become minus 3. Now, that's 2s squared minus x minus 3 then equals to 0. So this has become a correct equation now. Now we can solve this one whether by factorization method or quadratic formula. Whichever method we want. But let's factorize it. So we multiply the first number and the last number here. As a method of factorization that minus 2 times minus 6. That's minus 6. S square now. Now let's break it down into two factors. Break minus 6 s squared down into two factors such that we are going to have minus x. Minus x at the center. So that will give us minus 3x plus 2x. Because when we multiply minus 3x times 2x, that will give us minus 6 x squared. And when we add it together, that will give us minus x. So here now we can replace minus x at the center here with these two numbers. And by the time we rewrite this now, it will now give us 2s squared. We have 2s squared, then minus 3x plus 2x, then minus 3 equals to 0. We have replaced that minus x at the middle with these two numbers. Then let us group it to 2 now and factorize. By the time we factorize, from here now, what is common from here is x. x is common. So we can take x out from these two numbers. And we are going to have x into bracket 2x left. When we take x out here, then minus 3. Only 3 left here. Then what is common here is just plus 1. Then we have 2x minus 3 equals to zero now now the brackets are the same thing we can just you know write one of it and we have 2x minus 3 picking one of it then times x plus 1 so equals to zero now so each of these number multiply each other and the result is zero that means one of them has to be zero which one we don't know therefore we say is it that 2x minus 3 is equals to zero or x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then by the time we solve this, we cannot see that when this one comes here now, we have 2x equals to 3 now, because minus 3 comes here, become 3, or x equals to minus 1. When plus 1 comes there, then when we divide both sides by 2 here, so as to get x, we then have x equals to 3 over 2, or x equals to minus 1, still minus 1 on this side. And of course, we can still write this as x equals to 1 over number 1 over 2, or x equals to minus 1. That is the solution to the problem. If you are just joining us, don't forget to click on the subscription button and also turn the notification bell on. We say thank you for joining us, and bye for now.